Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for the 21st of August 2020 and it is for the sign of Aries. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you don't feel that it quite resonates with you, that's okay. It's a general reading, so just leave it there. However, if you would like to have your own personal reading, you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers in your relationship, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. You can also find all the information into the YouTube Dropbox. You will find how to um, how to book a uh, reading with me. You will also find the um, type of readings that I do offer and the price list. So everything you pretty much need is in the YouTube Dropbox box. Um, also, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you do enjoy my channel and you do enjoy my videos and my messages, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to the channel and to myself. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading, this reading here that I have for you. Now this is all about fairies. So I'm using a fairy wisdom and I'm also using a fairy guidance oracle. Um, and now we're going to do, it's, it's going to be brief. We're going to go a little bit within the past. We're going to go a little bit in the present and then we're going to go a little bit into the future. So we're going to do one, one, one. Um, so let's go see a little bit what was happening in your love life, what we can do, what to look out for. So let's begin. So for the past, I have Jewel of the Sea, and the Jewel of the Sea um, is all about the deafness. It's everything that you find that is inside of you that is a treasure that is worth treasuring. This is really a card that is saying, you know what, you need to look around you and you need to acknowledge that everything that you have around you, all the goodness that you have, all the love, um, you know, May it be good, may it be bad in every bad situation. There's some good also. So, you know, even though you're not really, you might not be with this partner anymore, do try and look at the goodness of it. Look at all the treasures that you got from this relationship. Look at all the beautiful experiences that you got. Um, and all the knowledge and everything that you're taking with you to the, you know, to the present relationship. And so this is really about acknowledging all the treasures that you have around you and what you have inside of you. Um, so, and then we also have the card of healing and I have the card of sanctuary. So healing is all about a healthy body thrives with a constant flow of balanced energy. And the sanctuary card is within your heart, a space of regenerating sanctuary awaits. So this is all really about healing, okay? This is about you and your time and what happened into this relationship. You are in need of healing, but you also need a sacred place. You need a place to be your own, a place where you can feel better, a place where you can heal, a place where you can balance things off, okay? So as much on the emotional, the conscious, the subconscious, uh, the the body also, the physical. So this is really about balancing everything off and just trying to heal. Taking a place for you, taking a moment for you that is well deserved, that is very necessary to put the past behind so you can move forward with all that knowledge and all that treasure that you gained here and move on to the um, present relationship. Into the present relationship here, the message that I have is beloved. So please do know that even though you might have some ups and you have some downs, and that's all very normal, uh, you are loved. You are adored is the word that I would even use here. So this is really about you and, um, and how people do perceive you. People around you love you. They think you're just the greatest person. Um, they like your energy. They like your vibe. They like your smile. They like everything about you. And this is really a card that is depicting this right now. And I also also have the card of rejuvenation and simplicity. So this is all about the rejuvenation, of course, is rejuvenating the spirit is going to spark the desire to experience the greatness in life. And simplicity is simplifying your life is going to bring you a sense of clarity and of renewal, which is also very important. If you have too many things going on, it's too complex, too many levels, too many decisions on one single subject, it just makes everything too complicated for nothing. So try and make everything as easy as possible for you. It's going to lighten a lot of the burden upon your shoulders in your relationship and really just keep it simple. If you're going to have something to say, say it. Don't say it, you know, by going to the back roads and going up some hills. No, you have something to say, keep it simple and say it. You want to do something, keep it, say it, you know, just keep it simple and say it as much with your goals. 
everything in your relationship should be kept simple. There are so many things in our lives that can be complex. Let's not put the relationship in that category also because it is complex enough when we're talking about emotions. So, and then we have the rejuvenation. Well, you know what? The rejuvenation of yourself also brings and sparks out just that greatness and everything. So this is about renewing yourself. It's about doing new activities into the relationship. It's about doing new things for yourself also because you got out of this period of healing and the sanctuary and you have to continue doing things for you. Can't always be for the couple. Can't always be for the other person. Sometimes you just have to do some things that make you feel better. And if you feel good, you're able to give that goodness out. You're able to give that good energy out. And that is where your relationship is going to gain from it. So please do really take care of yourself is really what I'm trying to say here and keep things quite simple. And people love you. We're going to move on to the future. What do we have to watch out for the future? The shaman. The shaman is all about trying to find your journey and following it. So right now you're going to be asked, well not now because you're in the present, but very soon you're going to be asked to find that journey. Find where your path is going to lead you. Where is it going to lead you? Go on to that spiritual path. Go on to that, that introspection. If you're into meditation or yoga, do that. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable on whatever allows you to listen to your intuition, to listen to your heart, to listen to your soul and try and follow that and you're going to be on the right path. And then I also have the card of prosperity and the card of courage. So the courage is found in the power of the heart's truth. Okay, and I have prosperity, which is the inner power supplied by spiritual prosperity lasts an eternity. So this is really about to have the courage into a relationship, you're going to need it. You're going to need some courage. Everybody needs some courage at one point or another, and you're going to have some difficulties at some point, and you're just going to have to face them. I don't want you to put any barriers up, or if you're going to put some, don't put them too high, okay? People have to be able to come and approach you. They have to be able to talk to you, have to be able to communicate and feel the emotions and feel the communication. So this is really going to be what you're going to have to work on. You're going to have to work on taking that courage, facing your fears, and moving forward, finding that journey that you're looking for and at the same time over here with the prosperity well you know what the inner power that is inside you just lasts forever so this is really about you know what you have so much prosperity already with you and within you you need to share it you need to share it in your relationship you need to share it in all the relationships that are surrounding you so you have exactly what it needs. You have the goodness, you have the love, you have you have everything. So share that prosperity, have courage, and you're going to find your path. So this is going to be your challenge, finding your path, facing your fears. Right now, it's all about taking care of yourself, keeping things simple. So I hope that you enjoyed this mini um, love reading with the fairies to give you a little bit of a look at what to look for. Um, I do wish you a fantastic day. Many, many blessings. If you um, would like to have a reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. And uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to stay tuned for the following reading. So I wish you a fantastic day and thank you for being there.